So the king of the baggers race, it's really an interesting concept. Basically, it's, you're gonna take these 800 pound motorcycles, you're gonna whittle them down and send these guys out there pretty much battling it out, handlebar to handlebar, turn by turn, with these monster motorcycles that really are not designed to do what they're doing. We're taking a bike that's about twice as large as a normal sport bike, and we're racing the same course as they are. That's unique in itself. I'm sure we're, we're gonna be sort of uh, looked at sideways, like, you know, why, why are we even there, you know? But, hey, wouldn't be the first time. Uh, my name is Brandon Holstein with The Speed Merchant, and we're located here in Signal Hill, California, Long Beach, California area. I'm Eddie Kralik, four-time NHRA champion, as well as an employee here at Vance and & Hines, and kind of responsible for running the race shop out in uh, Brownsburg, Indianapolis area. We started The Speed Merchant, uh, my partners and I, about 10 years ago. And um, it really evolved from wanting to get the most that we could out of the bikes that we're riding at the time. You know, mainly, I would say 90% of our product is all Harley Davidson based. One of the things that we really do specialize in here is cylinder head work, uh, engine building, engine development. So for us, it's about the horsepower. When Moto America announced Battle of the Baggers, we knew this was an important project. And what I mean by that is when you look at how the market right now is growing, the performance bagger market, as I would like to call it, probably on our end, is making them perform, making them fast. For us, that's when we knew this was a project that was a home run hit for us, Harley-Davidson, and Moto America. I think people are going to love it. I don't know. I, I, it's sort of like the hooligan thing, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's how I sort of see it. But it's an exhibition and we'll actually see how good these bikes you know, can handle after all the work we've done to it. You know, we're, we're in it to be in the race, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, these are baggers going down a road race course and it's one of, the, one of the most difficult tracks here on the West Coast, if not the most difficult track. So it, it, it'll be a fun time. How would you describe it? It's like road racing an 18 wheeler instead of a Ferrari. Yeah, it can be done, but it takes a special person to be able to do it. In the big picture, usually when you think of road racing, you think of these really small sport bikes, light motorcycles, lots of horsepower. The last thing you're gonna think of is this big bagger. We're basically trying to stuff as much power in them as we can get to make this 800 pound motorcycle go around the track as fast as it can. Our rules were kind of wide open. What can we do here? How do we make it handled better? That was our goal. Loss of over 200 pounds, lots of carbon fiber. 